so I've worked here for just over six years now. Um, predominantly at the beginning it was mainly just cleaning duties and that kind of area. Um, but then I was made supervisor, so that kind of took me into the office a little bit more and kind of had me dealing with roads and things like that, uh, which was a bit more interesting um, and kind of kept it different throughout the day. Um, and then, yeah, over the years we've helped out with security, um, done our security training, helped out at the Jet Centre, helped out with F&B, um, so it's, it's given us a chance to get into other departments and, and kind of, yeah, experience different things. Um, yes, I've been here nearly six years now, um, but I started off as part-time, um, really enjoyed it, and so as soon as the full-time um, vacancy came up, I applied for that one and got the, yeah, so, um, so yeah, it's been yeah, nearly six years now. Um, so I think, um, I mean, the variation with our role is always really good uh, because we, it does allow us to kind of go to all, all different parts of the airport um, and I think that kind of keeps it quite fresh all the time. You know, I think that's a, a big part of, kind yeah. of what we enjoy. Yeah, because we, we interact with like all, de all departments so because mm. we, we work in all the departments we get to know like everybody, like oh, so we know all the staff basically. Mm. It's, it's just nice that we're going from one department to the other you know, just seeing everybody like every day. Yeah. I think the fact that it is local is really good and it's a staple for the community this, this airport which I think is a much loved thing in the area um, and I think anyone interested in, in this kind of industry it's on their doorstep so I think it's just convenient and a, a good way to go. Mm. It's on the bus route as well mm. and it's, you know the train station is just across the road so mm. it's, it's very accessible mm. um, and um, yeah it's lovely I mean I, I only live five minutes down the road so mm. it's, you know, it's right on my doorstep. Mm. management yeah. programs and things like that you can yeah. kind of get into and um, I think the young people I think kind of a few years back they used to do the work experience uh, which I think was a, a big plus point because it gave kind of young people a chance to see the environment and actually work day to day in it to see kind of how they would like it and enjoy it and yeah. Also you, you've got the availability of moving around the airport as well so if you you know even though like you might enjoy working in one department you mm. might think well actually that looks quite interesting as well mm. so, and you might want to you know, join another team and you're able to do that. Mm. So we've kind of agreed on this a little bit. We both kind of said uh, the Jet Centre. Yeah. Um, Although we we do feel that our department. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Not that we don't enjoy our department. <laughs> Obviously, we love ours more than any other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all of us have all, all been like together for about five years mm. now, haven't we? So yeah. we all know each other inside and out, and like we get on really well. Mm. And um, but yeah, if there was a yeah, if there was another opportunity, I think I'd like to work in Jet Centre. Yeah. I think because you just feel like a VIP as soon as you walk in, you know, yeah. it's just, yeah, and it's, it's, it's like a little, it's like a mini airport as well, they kind of do a bit of everything there, kind of with the kind of passengers, plus kind of going out onto the ramp as well, and, and the benefit of having coffee and, <laughs> and sweets uh, on tap, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'll go and get the camera. Yeah. Oh, there we go, yeah. Um, yeah, so well, I didn't necessarily consider ourselves a heroes, but um, no, it's, the we cape, just it's the cape fix. Get on with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Like, yeah, if something needs doing, we just get on with it and go and do it. So, mm. yeah, and we don't yeah, really necessarily feel like heroes, but we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. Not, it's, it's a nice feeling to know that you're helping. With. Yeah, you're helping with when it's a nice feeling. Mm. Um, so again, I think touching on the work experience thing again, I think that that's a route that um, I think would benefit um, greatly to be honest, because I think it gives them a chance to be here and, and to kind of see it, how it works and, and if they're interested in this industry anyway, uh, like Tina touched on earlier, um, there's other departments and they can kind of see it as, as a whole and um, yeah, I think that would kind of help and apprenticeships as well, things like that. Mm. Mm. Or even like um, voluntary work. Well. Voluntary work, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. There's, what, if there's a way of them kind of coming in. I think just getting them inside the airport to see it, I think, uh, would be a big, big help. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was going to go away with this then. And it turns out it was Gordon Ramsay, but not the real Gordon Ramsay. It was, it was um, yeah. It was
yeah. so um, he um, he was impersonator that he goes but he's got he's a fresh professional impersonator mm. so he works in Spain and um, and he had his um, he had his own full thing yeah. and everything as well yeah so te technically Tina was right it was Gordon Ramsay just not quite the the, the, uh, the it, it was the uh, it was yeah Gordon Ramsay from Wish if you order from Wish it was him yeah. <laughs>